My name is Ethan Feinschreiber, and I have a passion for educating the world about snakes. One of Florida's most common snakes is the Black Racer. However, I've talked about these snakes before in my last season. But Florida is home to more than just Black Racers. The Everglades, for example, is home to this, the Everglades Racer. So this is the Everglades Racer. I almost guarantee you that if you're not all the way down here in South Florida where you get the Everglades Racer, you are very likely to see a black racer instead, which we've also seen in Florida. But down here in South South Florida, instead of getting a black racer, you get this, a much brighter looking racer, almost looks exactly like the black mask racers of Louisiana, but it has a bit more of a yellow chin. And these guys aren't just down here in the Everglades, they're also all the way on the Florida Keys. Now, if you wanna know about the black racer, then you can go to my different types of racers in Louisiana video because you get black racers there too. The great thing about these racers is that they naturally like to go after lizards. If you've tried to catch lizards before, you'll know they're, they're really fast and really hard to catch, but if anything can catch them, it's these guys. They are, they're, they're not, they're not not called racers for nothing. And the great thing is that these guys are actually out here in good numbers, keeping the populations to a minimum of invasive lizards down here in South Florida, which is wonderful. So this is an extremely important species to have here in South Florida. They get much bigger than this, but this is actually probably an average, decent sized uh, racer actually. They can get upwards of about six feet, but uh, are usually seen I think around two to four feet. Now, as most racers do, they typically are very defensive when you first catch them. This guy has bitten me all over the place. But they also will musk on you, just like garter snakes and water snakes. See, that's what they do, they freak out. The less you freak out, the less you're gonna get hurt. I don't wanna hurt you, buddy. Their scientific name is Colubra constrictor, but these guys actually aren't known for constricting their food after they've caught it. This is a non-venomous snake, nothing you need to be afraid of. If you happen to see one, I promise it's probably only gonna be for a few seconds, because as soon as they see you, they take off, because they're a lot more scared of you than you are of them, trust me. In case you're wondering, like, how does a snake move at all? It has no arms and legs, and how does something like this move so fast? Well, actually, it's because they have belly scales. So the big thing between lizards and snakes is lizards don't have these big belly scales that you see a snake does. And these belly scales are essentially what allow the snake to move around without arms and legs. Each and every one of these scales actually grips anything on the ground they can, and they all grip the ground pretty much at the same time, some more than others, and allow them to have a point of leverage so they can push themselves forward off of these belly scales and they slither to kind of help out with that so each part of their body to the side they can almost push off of to push themselves forward and racers are obviously really really good at that does the Everglades racer make a good pet snake no like all other racers I've caught I've told you this is a they're horrible pet snakes no racer makes a good pet just because of what they eat and the fact that they would need an enormous enclosure to basically be happy. They travel very long distances to get what they want, whether it be to find a mate, whether it be to find a den, or to find their prey. Thank you so much for taking the time to educate yourself on the Everglades Racer. I'll see you guys next time with possibly an even cooler snake. If you enjoyed this episode of Snakes on the Brain, let me know by giving this video a like. And if you want to learn about other snakes I've caught, make sure to subscribe.